This is a demo of the capture functionality in Polar. So capturing a document is when you're fetching a web document and you're storing it locally. And to do that is you just go to File, Capture Web Page. It literally pulls up this browser and you just paste the URL in there that you would like to capture and it will render the document. Um, some documents don't render perfectly, so what you could do is you can actually change the browser emulation. So we can make it smaller and we could make it larger if we'd like to. Um, let's just pick something intermediate. So actually the default is this. The default is a mobile device. Um, and the way this is set up is that um, you know, a lot of documents are written for tablets. And then what Polar does is it actually emulates a tablet so it renders perfectly. We're also going to add support for Mozilla's readability project so that it can strip away extra, excess Chrome. And then once the document is uh, looks usable to you, readable. Sometimes you'll have to, you know, maybe cancel a. There might be a dialog box here, and you have to click cancel, or you might need to log in or something. But once the page looks like it's fully rendered, what you can do is you hit this button up here called capture, and what that does is it saves it locally, and now it's ready to to work with. So the way what just happened was that it literally captured all the HTML and saved it inside a PHZ file, which is a compressed a Polar HTML archive. And uh, it's literally compressed all that into one uh, file, and it's serving it from the from the disk. So that web content is actually now served on your disk. And the way <coughs> we're loading it is that we're actually rewriting the URLs. So the browser that well, this quote browser is you know based on Electron is literally thinking it's serving from the internet, but it's actually serving from this. Uh, PHZ file, which means that uh, it doesn't have, you know, we don't have any issues with, you know, missing URLs and things like that. And right now we don't uh, keep the images uh, stored in the PHZ file, but uh, we're planning on doing those in the future with what we're calling fat PHZs, which will be much larger, but this way you can keep it for, you know, for effectively forever. And uh, at the top you can change the zoom. Uh, now the, the um, aspect ratio of the page stays the same when you zoom in and out. So you don't have to worry about that. And then all the normal polar functionality works within PHZ files. So you can do annotations. You can create page marks. You can resize them. You can erase them. And uh, all that functionality just works normally. And now that the document is captured, we can actually go back to the document repository. And I had a previous search term up here. But you can see this was a Dropbox infrastructure. Um, and after I add it, normally what I do is I'll just tag it. So I just call this one Dropbox and create it and it's tagged and that's it. And then you can just double click it to open it up again and then you can just read it. You know, go back to it, read it anytime you want to. It's stored in your document repository. And that was how to capture uh, Polar, uh, uh, excuse me, web content in Polar. And please, if you like Polar, give us a, you know, a, a, a GitHub star and uh, please uh, feel free to contribute or uh, jump on our Discord group. Uh, thank you very much. Bye-bye.